capital Pakistan and its capital Nukus are the most extraordinary tourist destinations in the world. This is the definition of the world readable British newspaper, The Telegraph, which included this route in the top 10 of 2015 in the second number. And the authors of the leisure column in the Sunday supplement, no less readable than the New York Times and the International Herald Tribune in the summer of 2009, advised art savvy readers to visit the Nukus Museum, emphasizing must see before die destination, and call it this unique museum, popularly referred to as the Savitsky Museum or simply the Nukus Museum as the Louvre in the Sands. The State Museum of Arts of Karakal, Pakistan was established in 1966 on the initiative of the Moscow artist Igor Vitalievich Savitsky. At present, this is the largest art collection of the Central Asian region. It has about 100,000 items of storage with a chronological coverage of more than four millennia. The emergence of the museum is associated with the activities of the legendary Khorezm archaeological and ethnographic expedition, which made the discovery of the century by excavations and study of the ancient Khorezmian civilization located on the territory of Kirkal Pakistan, Khorezm region and Turkmenistan. Expedition leader, world-famous scientist Tolstov called the majestic fortresses and cultural monuments a Central Asian Egypt. Savitsky also worked as part of this group, who later became the director of the Nukus Museum, already conducted independent excavations and collections of folk arts and crafts replenishing the collections of the museum he led. These collections became the foundation of the museum, Ancient artifacts found during excavations of ancient and medieval settlements, unique Zoroastrian ossuaries with samples of ancient writing in the Aramaic alphabet, terracotta cult figurines, ceramic and bronze products bearing the influence of the crossing of eras, religions and beliefs, different civilizations are truly impressive. The of Karakalpak folk arts and crafts is a kind of gene pool of the culture of a small, semi-nomadic people in the past, now living in the northwest of Uzbekistan, but incorporating traces of the culture and life of their ancient ancestors, nomadic in the steppes of the Black Sea region, in the Volga region and in the Caucasus. The unique helmet-shaped wedding headwear of the Kirtalpak will take you back to the time of the Amazonian warriors, whose armor imitates some types of women's costume presented in the museum's exposition. The collection of the Moscow avant-garde and post-avant-garde of the 1920s, 1930s is also significant. Several rooms exhibit the gift of the widow of the French artist Fernand Leger, Nadia Leger. This is a first-class collection of copies of world masterpieces made in the workshops of the Louvre in Paris. Anyone, even the most biased lover of beauty, will feel the atmosphere of Parisian workshops and galleries by visiting the graphics section in the exposition of two museum buildings. The realization that the museum shows only three to five percent of the entire collection will fill the souls of visitors with amazement.